Um, military, it's been my life since I was young. I mean, military family, I grew up in it. I got deployed in the Afghanistan, Iraq, in Kuwait area with my brother. I guess the best way to describe him would be like always adventurous, always outgoing. Um, a bit of the pain in the ass also, my sit on. He was my brother, he was fun, we always looked out for each other. I mean, he had a wild streak when he was younger, but that was any one of my family. With being in the same unit, I mean, one thing that it's always been known about twins is that you always like have sort of a connection that it's there, but it, it's not proven. I mean, that was a lot of the cases with me and my brother, is they like, always knew where he was and he always knew where I was, regardless of where we were. I mean, we had that connection with each other. And it, it helped us within our command because we could be on t at two ends of the mission operating and we'd be able to, to just use short paraphrases and communicate with each other almost perfectly. I was in August uh, 2004. It was supposed to be just a standard issue weapons raid run that was out of the outskirts in Iraq. It was supposed to be quick in and out, collect the weapons, secure the site, destroy them, photograph, take evidence, whatever we needed, and get out of there. It was supposed to be in and out, no simple cut easy. Minimum resistance, but that wasn't the case. Two man teams, two went right, two went left. My brother took the first corner left. And I guess they heard him coming or something because he popped his head around the corner and instantly got shot. How the fuck is this going to happen? Uh, why? I mean, it was for a split second there. It was like chaos and confusion and then I was just basically like a, I guess a mental shutdown just to my military training. And then after that, I mean, trying to get cover, trying to get him pulled back, calling for a medic. By then it was already too late. He was declared dead before he even hit the ground. Yeah, it sucked. It hurt. But I knew I could handle it. My commanding officers and my CO, they didn't feel that I could handle it. I wanted to stay in the military, but they wouldn't allow me to stay in the military. Um, they considered me unfit for the position that I was currently in after my brother's death. It was always considered an honour. I mean, I've lost numerous family in military, but, but I know that they were fighting for what they believed in, so it makes it a lot easier. No, no.